Day 6. Works like magic. Quote, if you take any activity, any art, any discipline, any skill, take it and push it as far as it will go. Push it beyond where it has ever been before. Push it to the wildest edges of edges. Then you force it into the realm of magic. Unquote. By Tom Robbins, born 1936, writer. How can it be that a person who is born into total poverty, starts out with nothing and has very little education, goes on to become a president or a celebrity or builds an empire and becomes one of the wealthiest people in the world? And how is it that two people can start out in the same career and yet one person's career goes from success to even greater success? while the other person works himself or herself into the ground with little success, no matter how, how hard they try. The missing link to success is gratitude, because according to the law of attraction, you have to be grateful for what you have to attract success to you. So, without gratitude, it's impossible to have permanent success. To bring success or increase the good things in your job or work, like opportunities, promotions, money, brilliant ideas, inspirations, and appreciation, it is essential to be grateful for your job or work. The more gratitude you have, the more you will have to be grateful for, and you should be getting the idea by now that to increase anything in your life, you have to be grateful for what you already have. Quote, whoever has gratitude for their work will be given more, and he or she will have an abundance. Whoever does not have gratitude for their work, even what he or she has, will be taken from him or her." Unquote. When you are grateful for your job, you will automatically give more to your work, and when you give more to your work, you will increase the money and success that is returned to you. If you are not grateful for your job, you will automatically give less. When you give less, you decrease what comes back to you, and as a result, you will never be happy in your work. You will never give more than you have to, and your job or work will stagnate and eventually deteriorate, which could mean losing your job. Remember, for those who do not have gratitude, even what they have will be taken from them. The amount you give in gratitude is exactly proportional to the amount you received in return. You control the amount you receive by the amount of gratitude you give. If you are a business owner, your business's value will increase or decrease according to your gratitude. The more grateful you are for your business, your customers and your employees, the more the business will grow and increase. It is when business owners stop being grateful and replace gratitude with worry that their business spirals downward. If you are a parent, and your work is taking care of your children and managing your home, look for the things to be grateful for at this time in your life. It is often a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and when you can be grateful for this time, you will attract more support, more help, more beautiful moments, and more happiness to the experience. You should love your job, whatever it is, and be excited about going to work, and you shouldn't settle for anything less. If you don't feel that way about your current job, or if it's not your dream job, the way to receive your dream job is by first being grateful for the job you have. Today, imagine that you have an invisible manager whose job it is to keep a record of the thoughts and feelings you have about your job. Imagine that your manager will follow you wherever you go today, poised with pen and notebook in hand. Every time you find something about your job to be grateful for, your manager will take a note of it. Your job is to find as many things as you can to be grateful for. So at the end of the day, your manager has a long list of all your gratitude. The longer the list, the more magic your invisible manager can bring to your money, work, success, opportunities, enjoyment, and fulfillment. Think about all the things you could be grateful for in your work. To begin with, think about the fact that you actually have a job. Think about how many people are unemployed who would give anything to have a job. Think about the time-saving equipment you use, such as phones, printers, the internet, and computers. Think about the people who work with. 
and the friendships you have with them. Think about the people who make your job easier, such as a receptionist, assistants, janitors, and delivery people. Think about how good it feels when you receive your paycheck, and think about the favorite aspects of your job that you love doing. Have your invisible manager make a note each time you find something you're grateful for by saying, "I am so grateful for what." The more deeply your manager can see your feeling gratitude, the sooner your manager can start to make the magic happen in your work, and the more magic will be created. It is possible that you could generate so much gratitude for your work in one day that you would see the circumstances instantly improve. Lucky breaks don't happen by accident; they are simply gratitude's magical power at work. If this works like magic. Practice falls on a weekend, or when you're not at work, move on to the next day's practice or practices, and then go back and use this magical practice on the first day when you're back at work. Magic practice number six works like magic. Repeat steps one to three of magic practice number one. Count your blessings. Make a list of ten blessings. Write why you're grateful. Reread your list and say thank you, thank you, thank you, and feel gratitude for each one. Number two, while at work today, imagine you have an invisible manager following you around, taking notes every time you find something to be grateful for. Your job today is to look for as many things as you can to be grateful for. Number three, have your manager make a note each time you find something you're grateful for by saying, "I'm so grateful for." What and feel as grateful as you can. Number four, just before you go to sleep tonight, hold your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words. Thank you for the best thing that happened during the day.